They changed the logo because they were going to steal our dreams. That's the proof right there. What's up, man? How y'all doing, man? If this is your first time here, make sure y'all like, subscribe, give a comment, man. I want to talk to you guys, man. Man, let's let's yo, let's let's kick it, man. So, um, I want to talk about a couple things today. I want to talk about how I almost lost all dreams. <laughs> Yeah, I almost lost all dreams and I did not know how close I was to losing all dreams until today. That's the crazy thing about it. So before I get into that story, I want to say that we are 94 days away from launch, 94 days away from launch. I will be uploading dailies for 94 days at least and surpassing 94 days. I'm going to continue documenting this journey. But yes, 94 days until launch, November 1st of the All Dreams platform. Um, as you've seen, in the footage before this the meeting with a potential investor and not an accredited investor that has to have one million dollars net worth imagine if you were able to invest in uber for a hundred bucks when the platform when uber was just getting started so Possibly, we're being very selective on who we want to invest. So soon I will be dropping a WeFunder link so you can invest. The minimal investment is $100 and you will own a piece of all dreams and be a part of this company. So yes. You can own stock in all dreams. Um, I will let you guys know when that's available, you know, when you can buy shares into all dreams. Again, the minimal investment is $100. Um, so let me tell you how I almost lost all dreams. So as I'm going through this process right now of working with my development team and the things that they need. So they needed a bunch of things. They needed me to do a Google Play account. Or they needed me to do uh, an Apple developer account. The, I, I had the uh, Amazon Web Services account, but it was some things that they needed, needed me to do. So, The Apple developer account and also the Google Play account. I just realized today how I almost lost all dreams. So when, I'm gonna take you guys back real fast. After I realized that athletes needed to be supported and supporters would support athletes. And I'm like, yo, there's no way we can make 1 million collections of, of t-shirts and then support 1 million athletes that way. Just wasn't gonna be feasible, wasn't even possible. I said, I know that this is a thing because we tested it, but we need a platform, okay? We need a platform where athletes can upload their videos and people can support them by supporting their dream and athletes can you know have the stores for their their sports journey build a community and um and actually earn money for their dream so i'm like yo i need a platform like a worldwide platform this problem is all over the world 
It's happening in Africa. It's happening in the United States. It's happening in uh, Latin America, everywhere. This could be big. So I meet a guy on Y Combinator. Um, it's like a, you know how you guys that like to date many girls, um, always like on Tinder and Bumble and shit. Well, this right here is like Tinder and Bumble for finding a co-founder, <laughs> Y Combinator. So I find this guy and he is an engineer. So generally what happens is a guy like me, that's an entrepreneur, a founder, you know, has this idea and he wants to create something, then he may partner with a technical co-founder and they split the equity, okay? So I found a co-founder, but normally with a co-founder, what's supposed to happen is, he, the co-founder is supposed to build the, the product, the platform for the equity, because it's the other founder's idea and they've probably made progress like I had. So this guy, we'll call him the fake co-founder. The fake co-founder never really agreed to build the platform. He says, hey, I'm going to be the CTO, Chief Technical Officer, or the Chief Technology Officer, and I'm gonna, and I have a dev, a dev team, a development team that's going to build a platform. So, cool. I'm so thirsty, I'm a thirsty ass dude. Man, I just want to get my app going, man. We can make, you know, do all our things, man. Man, I need this thing to start making money, man. You know, this is me, right? So. We make a deal with the de with the, the development team. He ain't building nothing. He was more like a connection guy. Hey, I'm gonna connect you to the de developmental team. This how much it's gonna cost. This how much the design costs and this, this and that, okay? So he like, yo, it's gonna cost this much money. I'm like, all right, well, let me go out and try to get some investors. So he like, all right, cool. Well, they gonna start working on they're gonna start working on the platform. So we got the milestone one and I'll take you, I'll, I'll actually take this video and go back so you can see like we had milestone one complete, but I didn't get any, any investors. So he like, yo, they need to get paid. I'm like, yo, bro, you gotta wait a little bit of time, you know, and everything just hit the fan. So, I mean, this dude was just, he just went off. Like he basically quit the company and everything. Like, I mean, like, called me all type of names like for real like it was bad like it was so bad this was in april never even talked about this story now before we even got started we had to do all of the things like aws amazon web services where i had to give the developers the back end information so they can develop on in the back end same thing for google play and the app store the apple app store right so the one thing I did was I gave them the AWS and they was able to use it. The one thing I didn't do was the Apple developer um, thing or the Google Play thing. So when I did it today, I found out that all of that stuff needs to be verified all the way to your passport, your address, everything needs to be verified and it costs money. So the Google Play Store costs $25 and the Apple developer um, to get your, your app on on, uh, on iOS is like $90, $99 a year. How I almost lost all dreams is because that fake co-founder guy, he put all of his information in the app, in the Google Play Store, and also, and also in the uh, Apple App Store. So therefore, they, I pay the developers, they build the app, and everything goes to him. Because I don't even have the account, he has the account. 
And the funny thing about all of this is we had a design. It's always been all dreams, right? And somehow in the beginning of that design, the splash screen, the splash screen says all dreams. Somehow the splash screen, when we went over milestone one says dream catcher. And I'm like, yo, what the f is that? Okay, so I am just uh, giving you a demo mm -hmm. what I have created. Okay. So this is the first screen, which is splash. Uh, After that, is... this is the okay. You don't yeah. have you don't have the logo for uh, the uh, all dreams, right? I have to give you the logo. Yeah, but I think you have changed in Figma uh, because uh, I'm sharing you. I'm showing you. No, this no, is no, the splash screen. No, no, right? no, 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 no. I have not changed. I have not changed. It was never. But someone has changed, so that's why I was uh, thinking that this is a splash. Is it? I have. Okay, I will, I will check with Hassan if he has done that. But uh, that was the logo. I ideally, I don't know how it could change. Uh, anyways, I will talk to him and I will. I will see. Bro, you see that? I almost lost all dreams. Like, he knows that I don't know how to work Figma. I don't know anything about working Figma. They changed the logo because they were going to steal all dreams. That's the proof right there. Look. Right? This guy was planning to steal all dreams. Like it's clear to me because I just did all of the login information and and all of that information for the Apple developer uh, iOS and also Google Play. And guess what? I would have paid for the app and I would have never even been able to get it back and everything would have went to him. He would have stole all dreams. Moral of the story. Moral of the story. First off, don't be thirsty. Second off, God will reveal the people that's not supposed to be in your journey. Because he wasn't. And God revealed that early, early on. But I still didn't take heed to like, yo, nah, he ain't. So, I was just so anxious to get my platform and so anxious to build this app and so anxious to start this business that the signs were there and I just did not, like, it just like, yo, we still going, we still moving forward. Thank God none of that happened and we are where we are now. It's a part two to this story because the guy that actually designed, he's a designer, the guy that actually designed the All Dreams platform, I'm working with as part of my team as, a, as in his development team, right? Because the guy, the fake co-founder, after everything fell apart, guess what he did? He stole the design that I already had paid like $2,000 for. So I didn't even have access to my design. So, like I said, moral of the story. Moral of the story. It's on God's time. And God will reveal these people that's not supposed to be on your journey with you. Okay? Don't be so anxious. Don't be so anxious. I know we all want to get things done, man. We want, like... We have these ideas, man, just take your time. Just take your time. And man, when somebody does something, believe them. When they show you their true colors, believe them, for real. Um, yeah, but look, 94 days until we launch All Dreams. And I'll let you guys know when you can invest in All Dreams. I'm telling you, you might want to, but before we let anyone invest in all dreams, you guys have to meet with me 
in order to see if it's even a fit. If you're not about impact, I won't even let you invest into my company. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Peace. I'll see you tomorrow and I'll see you for the next 93 more days at least.